Hey guys, it's Eileen from basicblogtips.com. But today we're over on YouTube and I want to go into my YouTube channel, which is Miss Eileen Speaks. And let's talk about analytics. Analytics is a new thing that they introduced over at YouTube for us to keep track of our videos. You get a 30 day view of all the videos on your channel. You get to see how many views you've had in the last 30 days, how many new subscribers you've gotten, and your total of engagement, likes, dislikes, comments, shares, favorites, added and favorites removed. You also get to see your top 10 videos. And you'll see how many views, likes, and comments each video has. If you want to see a different date range, you just come up here and you can switch this to the last seven days, last week, you know, and, or you could do a custom range, or you can also do that by just clicking on the calendar and you can do a custom range that way as well. Scroll down and you can see your demographics by country, by gender, where people are discovering your videos, be it on the watch page on YouTube, embedded on other websites, in mobile devices, on your channel, top traffic sources. You can also browse more than 10 videos. Now let's drill down into an individual video. Let's look at this one that I did on the new YouTube design. And besides all the other things that we talked about, audience retention. Now you're only going to get this feature per video. And I like what YouTube did. They actually changed this a little from when it was insights. And this is your absolute audience retention, which is to me more important. So of course at the beginning of the video you've got a hundred percent of the people watching and you know as you go down you'll see that you know and some people may have uh, picked back up or scroll through and then by the end of the video 17 percent are watching. But there's also relative audience retention. So now based upon other videos that are the same length, six minutes and 47 seconds, then it tells you relatively how you're doing across the rest of YouTube. Here's some high points over here that are average. Another new feature that I really love is the sharing feature. Now this is sharing across my whole channel. It tells you what sharing service, uh, you know, I have five tweets, two Facebook shares, one dig. That's great because I can hardly ever tell how many Facebook shares I've had on videos before. And it gives you the dates when they were shared. You also get to see what countries are doing the sharing. And the specific videos. Okay, the last analytics that I want to show you today is the traffic sources. And this is great that you can get these statistics to know that out of 2,800 views, that 965 were from YouTube, 643 were from outside of YouTube, and then there's mobile apps and direct traffic. It's also telling you where the source is, whether it was embedded, uh, YouTube search this is good and that lets me know something because I've been working on improving the titles of my videos so that they would come up in YouTube search and they're also coming up in Google search so this is all good information for us to have make sure you log into your YouTube account and check out your analytics which is what replaced what used to be called insights <laughs> hey guys do me a favor subscribe to this channel give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment and you can also come and check me out over at basicblogtips.com
Well, that's it for now, you guys. Talk to you soon. Peace.